Rare announced that PvE servers are coming to Sea of Thieves. Well, kinda. And the community had a lot to say about it. So obviously we had to make a video too. A video that ranks the reactions to Safer Seas. Blurbs was one of the fastest to react to this. PvE servers are the first major step by Rare to sunset Sea of Thieves and enter maintenance mode for the foreseeable future. I think my man Beebs forgot he was a Sea of Thieves streamer and not a software developer anymore. What's with these highfalutin dev words like sunsetting and maintenance mode? I'm just a dumb pirate. I only understand terms like loot stack, delays, and M1. He makes some good points though, so C tier. Actually, uh, B for Beebs. LD Silvers, another partner who went right to Twitter when the news hit. As many of you know, I have my flaws and I've made my mistakes in the past. But one thing that's always remained constant with me is that I speak my mind in the truth. Season 10 preview for Sea of Thieves. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm not gonna read all that. Dude, they're adding a game mode, not an amendment to the constitution. And why does this start with a confession? We're gonna move LD Silver down to M tier for Manifesto. Oh! Cliff was straight to the point. So disappointed with the season 10 preview. Two of the three features aren't even new content. The skull is cool, but that's it. And we waited how long for season 10? They say brevity is the soul of wit. It also could mean you just don't give a shit, but Cliff used like 1% of the words that LD did. So we're gonna move him up to B tier. Toxie replied to this tweet with, Cliff, this is the best head skull you're getting this year. It'll be fun. <laughs> this tweet, that's, that's gonna get an S tier. It's gonna be a hard uru from me. Ghost Admiral was one of the first to upload a video about this crucial news and- I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. I'm gonna have a new video coming out very soon with my full thoughts on the whole delay matter because this video is getting long enough already. Wait, you're gonna make a 12 minute video about the season 10 reveal, but then I have to wait to hear four thoughts about the delays? Did you just delay your own delays video? Also the season 10 video from Rare didn't play out in its entirety before Ghost started talking. So I was a little confused with this change of format. G tier. You know, for Ghost- You guys wanna be in a video? Uh. Thanks for asking, yes. Oh, hey, what's up, YouTube? My name's Hippo TC, and I'm gonna give you my unfiltered thoughts. So hold on to your butts. Consider my butt held. My initial thoughts, as you can see by this video I'm about to show you of my face, I was shocked, appalled. But then, as the news sat in a little bit more, and I thought about it a little bit longer, I thought to myself, I actually think this is a great thing. Dude barely used footage from trailers, and he did a great job talking about the emotional process that I think we all went through when Rare started talking about Safer Seas. Probably one of my favorite reactions so far, so we're gonna move Hitbo to W tier. Shouldn't have sold your soul to the Whale Lord, bud. Captain Falcor was one of the first Sea of Thieves creators. Let's see what he has to say. I'm seeing a lot of negativity surrounding this new mode, and honestly, I hate to get on the pedestal here and say this, but you're, you're wrong. Please stop being so dramatic. That's honestly the best reaction I've seen. C tier for chicken. Ah, a shiny ray, the thinking man's lore hole. There's approximately 7,000 different accents in the UK, and he has the best one, A tier, for a shiny ray. Sorry, mate, should have left the A out of your name. Playthrough. These guys spent the season 10 announcement streaming to one person and spammed their own discord about how Safer Seas is good, probably. Do they even make SOT videos anymore? I'm not even sure why they're on this list. When they do make a video about this topic, it's probably gonna be some meta bullshit. So we're gonna give them an S tier. With all this news, it's time to see what the actual news network of Sea of Thieves has to say about this. If you don't know, I have a YouTube channel where we mainly interviewed random players on the seas and I edit it to look like you're watching a local news report or on the street type interview. Safer Seas might really hurt our ability to do this. What? This news network is more concerned with how their viewership will be impacted than on reporting the news about Safer Seas. Shame on you. S tier for selfish and shame. Absolute pixel. Dude didn't tweet or release a video about Safer Seas, and when he does, you know it's gonna be a banger. Apparently he was shooting a short film and making actual cinema while we were all refusing to touch grass and arguing about PvE servers. God tier. Worshipped by lore whores and tasked with the unenviable duty of making Sea of Thieves function, Mike Chapman has been cursed with the punishment of replying to tweets from the SOT Twitter community. His pain knows no bounds, and he will find no rest until Flameheart returns. Again. For real this time. Oh! He is tearless. Uh, speaking of SOT Twitter, the last folks we have to rank is everyone I've muted. This one's easy. S tier. 
because I didn't have to read your takes at all.